So friends, providing proper in-text citations within your research documents and to generate list of references as per the universities and journals formatting requirements is really very important. And if you are doing it manually, then it will take a lot of time. And for that, we do use Mendeley, EndNote, Zotero, and all these are really good tools. Those are widely used by various researchers. However, let us take an example of Mendeley. If you want to use Mendeley, then first you need to install Mendeley maybe with Microsoft Office and then you need to download different articles those you want to cite or either you can add these articles manually by using DOI number and one more thing you have to parallelly log into your web version in order to upload these downloaded files or manual entries and then you have to come back to your Microsoft Word where you have installed this Mendeley add-in and through this add-in you have to update then only you will be able to see the uploaded files or manual entries and after that you'll be able to cite all the sources within your Microsoft Word documents and even if Mendeley is freely available if you want to create multiple folders within your Mendeley's interface then in that case yes you need to upgrade to the premium so what if we can make everything simple and simply use this reference or citation management tools without any installation there is no need to download any research articles you need not to add any manual entries and that is possible by using AI. So hello everyone and welcome you all to this channel my research supports student this video will be discussing about how to provide proper in-text citations and to generate list of references as per any journals formatting requirements quickly by using citation style feature of Jenny AI and for that you have to first sign up for the Jenny and you can use this discount coupon to get additional 20% discount and then you can log in with your login credentials I have already prepared a video on how to use this Jenny's interface please check this video description for more details so this interface is really very simple on the left side you will find some options you can create new document you can name that document as your research paper or any research document so let us say these are my documents so let me click on this fluid mechanics a review this document so if I am already writing any document within this interface then you can go on citing the text wherever required however I would like to take one example let us say I am writing my research paper within this Microsoft Word so this is an introduction section I have written for a research paper so I have not provided any citations but it is expected that you must provide citations within this section of a research paper so now I'll simply copy this text into my Jenny AI's interface so either you can create new document or I already created a document I can name this document as my research paper and then simply here you have to paste the text that you have copied from your Microsoft Word document now the next step is you have to click on this icon settings so that you will be able to open this document setting okay and under this document setting first you have to set this citation style so you can see this option here so citation style so you can search citation style of specific journal let us say I want to submit this article into this journal advanced engineering materials I can select that journal then I will turn towards the citations let us say I need to provide the citation for this first statement then I need to select that statement and then this tab will appear and then you have to click on add cite so this is really very much important means you have several options here you have this library option so if you want to cite specific sources that you have already means you have some downloaded articles as we have discussed in the beginning of this video so all these downloaded articles you can also upload within your library of this Jenny AI's interface so this is again really very much interesting so you can look at my library I have added many of my research papers under this library so in order to add these research papers you may click on this icon and you may have different options you can either add PDFs for your research or review papers, you may import through Bibtex or you may add this literature through DOI links. So this may look similar to the main daily EndNote Zotero but there is a lot of difference. So let me explain how. Now let us say if I have added 200 research articles within my library and now I need to cite suitable research article for this piece of text. So I can select this and then I have to click on cite. Now, you can see this I am in the library so here you can see the tailored suggestions which is given by Jenny AI 
means even if your library has 200 research articles but still you have got best suggestion or suitability of this citation based on the sentence you have selected that does mean unlike mendel or other citation managers you need not to locate the specific articles that would suit to this piece of text so by using this cite tab you can go on citing the relevant sources so in addition to this this jne ai has over 250 million research articles database and if you want to enable the generative suggestions on sentences and citations then you can enable this option auto cite from external sources and then if you want to discover these suggestions then simply you have to click on this discover tab so under that you can see the related research articles means I have selected this first sentence and as per my selection Jenny AI has discovered few of the articles for you and the most important thing is so here it is showing that by how many researchers this article is already cited so obviously if the number of citations are more then you can say this research article is excellent and reputed so obviously if you are referring to excellent research articles, highly cited research articles, then that makes a rigid base for your written research paper. And that will definitely get a preference during your overall publication process. So you can also sort this article. So let us say if I want to cite only recent articles, then I can click on year and then I may click on since 2021. So let us say this is the research article. So it is again highly recommended to at least just go through this article once means you have to avoid blindly citing any source so let us say this is the right research paper so i can click on cite so you can see this citation added so similarly if i want to cite two sources for the same sentence i can cite that okay i can click elsewhere so let us say now i need to go on citing different sentences let us say this is the sentence then go on cite so let us say this is the right citation i can click on cite then maybe this would be the another citation and then simply i will click outside so these are four citations I have included and now the most important thing is when you will start providing this index citations on the same time this genius interface will generate the list of references okay so these are the four references and now let us say I have submitted this research article into any journal and this got rejected. So obviously we will submit that article into another journal. So I need to change the citation style. So within single click you can change that. Let us say now I will be submitting the article into advanced functional materials. I can click on that. So you can see this as soon as I click here everything has got changed. So let me check with any other style let us say any specific journal has mentioned about this harvard style okay so click on harvard site so you can see this so these citations index citations along with list of references is changed now let us discuss about the most important part now if you have finished providing index citations and you have generated list of references then you can click on export option and then you have to click on word so now you can see this this word file is downloaded so here you can rework on your word file to satisfy additional formatting requirements like font size spacing etc and then you can submit your research document to any journal for publication so thank you very much for watching this video i hope this information will help you and please do not forget to visit this video description for discount related information and also do not forget to subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon so once again thank you very much